Sonic Canadian Rider. Today we're going to be doing a video, a post-crash analysis of a helmet that's been in a motorcycle accident. If you guys haven't already seen, I had a buddy with a Yamaha R6. He got in an accident on the highway. I was following behind him. He hit into the back of a car, tumbled into the highway, two lanes, and obviously had a good smacking. Helmet took a lot of damage, but he walked away scot-free. And I want to do a video analyzing the impact and the damage that happens to a motorcycle helmet after that. So the first thing when we're looking at the helmet after his crash, we see that the majority of the damage has happened to the left hand side of his head. So when he crashed, and you can see the video, I'm going to put the card up right here on the video. When he crashed, the left side of his head and the back of his head is what actually impacted the highway and possibly the bike. Now when we look at this, the visor's taken a lot of damage here on the left hand side. We got scratches here, the mechanism to trigger going up and down to lock and close the visors damaged. And we have a lot of damage right underneath the visor seal, the gasket. And it's actually cracked through the matte finish into the carbon fiber composite of this helmet. Now, if you're wondering what the helmet this is, this is the Chaos Carbon Fiber Helmet. I actually did a video review of this helmet, and you can check that out. I'll put the card link up above. You can check that out as well. But it's taken damage enough that it's actually gone through the matte finish into the carbon fiber composite. It's damaged everything here under the gasket of the visor. So as we go around the helmet, and this is where it's actually taken the brunt of the damage. He fell really hard on the back of his head, and we see a big crack here on the back side, back top portion of his helmet. It went through, again, the MAC covering, covering the carbon fiber composite. And we see damage all across the back of the head here on the helmet. Now you'll notice that the actual crack is deep enough where I can actually put my finger into it and I can feel it moving. So it's definitely been cracked through on the helmet, which is really dangerous. And I'm going to talk to you about why you can't use a helmet once it's been in a drop. But looking at the helmet otherwise, you'd think it's fine. Like you don't see damage anywhere else. If you're looking at the interior, you don't see any damage. So you're under the impression, okay, it's been hit, you know, it's scratched up. It's a little bit damaged on the back, but some of you may think, okay, it's still okay. No. Now, these helmets were designed to last for one impact. I want you to think about your helmet as an eggshell. Eggshell is pretty hard, you know, when you're holding it, it's got good construction. But if that eggshell is weakened and let's say you dropped it, it hasn't broken completely, but you dropped it and now it's all cracked. Do you think that eggshell can handle another drop? It can't. It's construction is completely compromised at this point. So it's not going to have that strength that it had originally. All these helmets are designed the same way. They're designed to withstand one impact. And that's why at the stores, when you go buy helmets, they say, if you drop it, you buy it for that same reason. Once you drop a helmet, it's pretty much toast and it's not recommended at all that you wear the helmet continually after a crash. The problem with a helmet most of the time is that you see the crack here, but you can't see everything underneath. If we had an x-ray, if you put this on an x-ray machine or something, you would see all the cracks kind of spider webbing out. I, this entire thing I guarantee you is like completely cracked in and out on the inside or with the fracture cracking along. So that's why it's really dangerous when you get in a motorcycle accident to wear this again. You do not want to wear this again. I don't want to think about what would happen if you got another accident and you were to hit your head. I think this thing would like implode pretty much. So always get a new helmet after a motorcycle accident. But I just want to stress the importance of a proper fitting helmet. So he had this properly fitted where it's nice and snug on his cheeks. You know, there wasn't much movement left or right up and down. And it's really important if he had maybe a loose fitting helmet on a crash like that, you know, he could have damaged his neck. You know, protection might not have been there. It was completely buckled as well, the helmet. So you can go ahead and buy an expensive helmet, guys, or a cheap helmet. This was a more moderately priced helmet on a budget scale, on a budget scale. But if you don't properly wear the helmet and you aren't properly attached to your helmet, it's not going to save you at all. So I'm glad my friend walked away from this. Um, the helmet did its job. Um, again, if you want to see the helmet, check that out, the video review there. If you haven't seen the accident I'm talking about, I'm leaving the video card up there as well. If you drop your helmet, you know, some people say if you drop it just from here, you know, that's okay. Use your judgment on that. I just say for sure, if you get in an accident, you're getting a new helmet, especially where you've made impact to the ground on your helmet. So that's my video on a post-crash analysis of this motorcycle helmet, guys. It did its job. It did what it was intended to do. It was a more budget helmet. If you haven't seen, again, the helmet review, check it out. Check out my video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. We'll talk about it. If you like this video, like it. If you dislike this video, dislike it. Follow me on my YouTube channel, subscribe, and if, follow me if you've got Instagram on my Instagram page, uh, Canadian Rider Vlog. I'm posting pictures and stuff up there too as well. And again, I want to say thank you guys to my subscribers. You know, I see, like, every time I see the subscriber count, the next day is up 20, 30, 
You know, people are liking the videos, commenting on the videos, and I love interacting with you guys. So keep that up, and I'll be posting my next video soon, so keep in touch, and I'll see you then.